Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in this video, as you can see by the title, today I'm gonna be trying a Flexi Rod set on my hair. So I've never done this before. Um, it's my first time trying this out. And I actually watched like a couple videos on TikTok and that's kind of what made me want to make a video. So I'm starting off by sectioning off my hair. And I'm gonna use this oil. I have my hair freshly washed, so it's clean and everything. And I'm just putting moisture back into my hair. So I'm starting off with the oil and I just rub that on my scalp for that section. And then I'm using this um, hair butter. This is actually a really good um, thing that I've been using. As you can see, I used it up almost. I'm almost done with it. Um, so I'm using that just for a little bit of moisture in my hair. I wanted to use something a little bit heavier than a leave-in conditioner. Um, so I'm using this like hair butter. So I'm putting that on that section of my hair. And then I went ahead and sectioned that off into a smaller piece so I can start putting the flexi rods on. And then I'm using this curl. It's a curl milk actually. I thought this was a curl cream and I used it. It's okay, but it like just gave me a lot more moisture than I thought I would have, you know. So I'm starting off with braiding the root of my hair. This, I kind of couldn't really tell if this helped out or not, but I probably should have did twists and I could have made it a little bit tighter. Um, so I'm taking the flexi rod and I'm just like wrapping it around. This is the first one that I did, so it was a little bit hard to do, but I got the hang of it later on. Um, and I kept it kept unraveling when I did this as well, when I like pulled it up, you know? Um, so this is like me pulling it around and then I didn't show it but it kept unraveling until I finally got it and then I'm moving on to the next section I'm using a little bit of a bigger piece or I'm going with like bigger pieces of hair just because I don't have a lot of flexi rods to use and I wanted to make sure that all my hair would be wrapped up so I'm using um, the flexi rods and I'm just wrapping it around um, I have some bigger ones. These are like the bigger kind of ones that I have. And then I have some smaller ones I'm going to use towards the front. So you guys can just kind of watch me do that. Like I said, I'm kind of using big sections of hair because I don't have a lot of flexi rods to use. So you can just watch me continue to do this for my head. So now moving on to that top section, I'm going to start using some smaller uh, flexi rods. I guess I should have made, well, I should have made the parts or the sections smaller since I'm using smaller like rods, you know, but I still kind of kept the sections a little bit big. Um, but yeah, you can just kind of continue watching me put the flexi rods in this section of my hair. Okay, so once I finish that side, I'm going to go ahead and start on the other section. So once I'm done with my whole head, I'm going to go ahead and use my diffuser. And I'm using this mainly on my roots to get my roots dry. Uh, but I am actually going to give myself like a lot of time. This was taken in the morning and then later that night I went ahead and took them out. So I am going to have my like time for it to air dry. So I'm using the diffuser and I'm trying to get the roots um, to be as dry as possible before I move on. And then this is hours later um, and I'm going to go ahead and take them out. So I put, I did put a little bit of oil on my hands before I took them out. I didn't show that part, um, but I went ahead and took them out and I'm like flipping them around and like, you know, just trying not to mess up the curl. And y'all so far, these were turning out really nice. I loved how they were turning out. This part right here is the part where that was not fully dry and it had a lot of residue left at the root. So I did continue to take them out. I wasn't gonna like keep this from holding me back from doing the rest of my hair, you know? So I took that side out and then I'm starting on the other side. This side for some reason was a little bit harder to take out, but I got it out without messing up the curls. And then that's like the residue and like all that was left on the flexi rods. I had a lot of moisture and a lot of like oil in my hair. So I'm starting to take them, I'm starting to take the braids down. This was a little bit harder to do um, just because like you have to actually like un 
untangle or not untangle but you know you have to take the braid out so you're kind of gonna be at risk of messing up the curl i just like gently took them out and then kind of separated them and i twisted my finger to like recurl them you know and as you can tell by my face this side was looking really good so far so i finished up kind of like picking at the hair and taking the braids out um, and i'm doing the same thing to the other side i feel like the other side looks a little bit more um has more volume and it looks a little bit better than this side this side also had a couple of wet spots still so it kind of looked a little frizzy and like kind of it didn't fully have like that definition that I wanted it to. So that's one thing about it that I have to learn and next time just redo it and do it better. Um, so I used the diffuser and I kind of wanted a little bit more volume with the hair and a little bit more length as well. Now I'm going in with some Eco Styler gel and I'm doing my edges and then I went back in with some uh, Style Factor gel, you know how I do with my edges. I didn't want anything too dramatic so I only did those two little pieces there. Okay, so once I finished with that, I'm going back in and I'm kind of like tweaking a couple of pieces that I saw. Um, I had some pieces, like I said, that were still wet. So that's one main big thing about this. You have to make sure the hair is completely dry before you take it out. This right here is a perfect example of what I mean. I had a couple of like full strands that were still wet. So they kind of curled up and then all of like the roots of my hair were still wet as well. So it kind of just was frizzy and it didn't fully look the same as the bottom, but I will know next time to make sure it's fully completely dry. It looks good from the front here, but once you see the back, it's just frizzy and it looks completely different. So this would be cute as a little half up, half down, but wearing it down like this, I could not do. Other than that, it turns out really nice and I like the curls. Um, if you guys like the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more content and more videos for me. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!